Hey guys, thanks for everybody that has given me some wonderful birthday wishes for yesterday. I had a great birthday. Um, Scott got that washer hooked up. I've got the first load down there washing. Yay! And I'm going to run some errands and I thought I might drag you around and just give you some little clips and bits of what's going on around the area and what I get to see. Alright? Bye! Okay, first stop. First stop is Walmart, and I decided to go to the one in Traveler's Rest, which is about a 15 minute drive from the house. We actually have a Walmart that's like uh, maybe five minutes from the cottage, but I like this one better because I get to come up and look at the mountains. And I was gonna share the mountains. You can kind of see them like right in there, but then there's another, the, the next thing of mountains, the range of mountains, is this is Appalachian Mountains here and you can see even taller ones beyond but it's really cloudy so I'll try again when I come back out and we'll see if we can see some when I come out by then maybe the Sun will be up farther all right okay guys sorry it doesn't look like you're gonna get to see much of the mountains today it's just too overcast so on to the next stop is Publix All right, I'm back at the cottage, and as you can see, we're in business. I found this three, um, what is it? What are they? Three armed um, stand for shirts on hangers, and then I've got the heavy duty rack there for things that I don't have the appropriate hangers or small things like socks. So I'm in business. I'm do got another load going. Gonna eat some lunch. Probably by the time I'm done with lunch, I can switch out the laundry again, and then I've got a couple more errands. Fun having y'all along. Hi guys, I've decided to stay here at the cottage because I've got all this laundry to get caught up because Scott was in Phoenix last week and he brought all his dirty clothes home. Plus we've had the clothes that we've been wearing since the weekend, so I am so, so, so glad to have that laundry machine, washing machine set up. And I started this a few minutes ago. <laughs> I forgot to put the memory card back in the camera. <laughs> anyway, I, Lisa, not Lisa, Lisa's the other package, Paige, Stamp Girl, sent me some wonderful um, narrow ribbons that I wished for on Crafty Lori's channel. On, um, Mondays, Crafty Lori does Make-A-Wish Mondays, and everybody can wish for two things, just two things, no no ors. You just have to say, like, I want narrow ribbon and a cat rubber stamp. That's two things. You can't say narrow ribbon and a cat stamp or die. You have to pick one. So this is what I wished for. This is what Paige did for me. Awesome. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. And then I got this wonderful package here from Lisa, who I had not expected to receive anything. And I've already pulled the pocket letter out, but I'll show you the big envelope again, because I messed up and didn't have the memory card in. And this is awesome. I think everybody gets, um, got these at Target, I think. I don't get to Target often, because there's none near me here at the cottage or in Casey. There's just not any that close. But she sent me this awesome um, multi-holiday season pocket letter, which is awesome. And I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. Okay, now the cards are all wanting to fall out. But this top row is like Valentine's, and then this is St. Patrick's Day, and then these are just spring. I'm sorry, something fell in my eye just then. Okay, and she put some sequins in this one, and this one in the back has these awesome, really puffy stickers. Can you guys see how fat those are? That is so cute. That is so cute. And this one here's got some little little hearts in there. I think there's two wooden ones, and then I think the other one's a little plastic heart. And then. She had a pot of gold that she did on the front, and then she sent me an extra little cauldron or pot to do my own. And then there's some little St. Patty's things there, and there's a letter in there that I will read 
off camera. And in here, she's got some punched out shamrocks. And I hope you guys can see this. And then this one, I'm not sure. It's got bunnies on the front. Let's pull those out. Let's see. Oh, oh it's a butterfly. I'll show you the pretty side. There you go. They're butterflies. Okay, cool. I couldn't tell when they were in the pocket. And it's got, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's like a little stitched area. So you can see where the divisions in the wings are. That's awesome. Those will be great for spring cards. Thank you so much, Lisa. These bunnies you have on the front are so stinking cute. And then she's got some bunnies there. And I like how she did the googly eyes. Sorry, probably too close. Googly eyes on those. And then this one here for spring that she's got the sunglasses and the flower. She's got a little um, raccoon there. That is awesome. Awesome. And I think there's some other die cuts in here. It looks like there's some uh, little journaling spots in there too. This is awesome. Can I say awesome again? <laughs> This was just a really nice surprise. I wasn't expecting it. She got me good. Let me see. I think I found a card in here. Oh, I remember now. You said you'd send me some of them crazy birds. Happy Valentine's. Look, it's a pizza with hearts on it. Can I blind y'all anymore? Ah, uh, there's a slice inside. That is so cool. Oh, thank you. She said it's just a little something to cheer me up. It's hard going through a move in your 50s, you guys. You just don't know. If I was still in my 20s, I'd say, oh, it's nothing. Let's just move everything. But it's physically and emotionally exhausting. So yeah, it, it gets me down sometimes, but I'm, I'm in a good way this week, so I'm gonna go with it. These stamps are ones that I need to put on my wish. Maybe on next, next Monday's wish, I'm gonna wish for this stamp set. <laughs> Cause I love these birds. They just look so, I don't know, he looks forlorn. <laughs> this one looks like he's scared. Oh, they're just so funny. I love them. Thank you so much, Lisa. And then she sent me this beautiful felt heart. I could use this in a, um, in a journal. That is really pretty. I love that. Oh, how stinking cute. Look at this notepad, you guys. It's a good, it's the good fortune kitty cat. I'm gonna pull him out. That is so stinking cute. Oh, wow. Okay. So you, you push this down, if I can. There he goes. He finally came undone at the top. I don't know if he was supposed to or not. And his tail sticks out the back. I don't think he was supposed to come loose up there. Cause I thought he was supposed to like stand up. There we go. If I, I think I bent it in the wrong place is the problem. My bad. I'll reattach that there because I think he'll stand up. I think. See, yeah, you can make it so he'll stand up. He just popped loose at the top. I'll fix that. I'll put a little piece of tape or something right there. Or glue it back. I can just put a little glue and glue it back right between his ears. And see, he stands up on the table. That is so cute. I shouldn't have been so aggressive with him. Poor kitty. Becky, these are paper clay and Mod Podge. Oh, so stinking cool. It's a whole little baggie. Oh, I love this cat. Look at that. So cute. And this is all stuff. Oh, it's so light. You can definitely put this on. I love this nest. Little nest. 
excuse me, I just had lunch and it's not agreeing with me. And then there's all these little, there's a rose. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a little rose. Get my fingers out the way. I'm probably all off, off kilter. And she's got a sand dollar that in there and a seahorses and roses and tiny little frame. I don't want to pull them all out or I'll lose them. Oh, that little cat is so cute. Oh, she's got several little cats in here. They're very tiny. When I use them, I will share them most definitely. Thank you so much, Lisa. This was a wonderful surprise and it tickled me to death. I'm sorry it took me so long to get, get back to you, but living between two houses, it, it sometimes takes me a while to get to the mail. <laughs> sorry. Um, I need to remind Greg to bring the mail up because he's coming up this weekend to help us and get the, all this metal we've been finding. He can take it to the recycling because he has a, um, a permit to, to do that. So, Anyway, thanks for watching and tagging along this morning. I, sorry I didn't go more places or, and that the clouds were so heavy because when you're down by that Walmart in Traveler's Rest, which is like 15 minutes from here, 10, 15 minutes, depending on traffic, you can see the mountains for hundreds of miles. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. And um, I'm only about an hour from Asheville, North Carolina. So one weekend, once we get settled into a place of our own and everything, I think Scott and I are going to go up to Asheville for a weekend and I'll share a lot when we go up there because it's just if you've never been to Asheville it's some place I would put on my bucket list it's absolutely amazing place you can visit the Biltmore Estates it's a little a little pricey but it's well worth it to get in and, and tour the some of the house they don't let you get to all of it because some of the family that owns it you know they still live there so it's just it's just a beautiful place. I just love it. And um, I always have to stop at um, Foam and, it's called Foam and Fiber? No, Foam and Fabric. It's up there. It's a fabric store and they have the most beautiful cotton fabrics for like quilting or crafting. And I just, I love to stop in there. Scott said, you don't need any more fabric, but you know, you, sometimes you just can't resist when it's that pretty. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Thanks.